This is the first match in the tournament. And a win by either of these competitors will send a message to all of them in the, in the tournament. And Brian Kendrick not wasting any time. Throwing the jacket on Cedric, but Cedric back at him with the drop kick. And Kendrick having a good start with those stomps. But Cedric picking up the pace in a big way. Running off the ropes with a two pick on Hello. Over the top, crashing onto Brian Kendrick. And these Super X Cup matches, they will be fast. They will be over in a heartbeat. But there's the heel kick from Brian Kendrick. Now working over Cedric Alexander. Of course, Brian Kendrick has competed in NLW before. This is the debut of Cedric Alexander. Will that experience edge help Kendrick? You have to believe it will, but Cedric throwing caution to the wind with the springboard clothesline. There's going to be eight first round matches. The winner of this match advances to the quarterfinals, but he went for the lumbar check, but instead the crafty veteran with a rake to the eyes and now the captain's hook. The captain's hook applied by Kendrick. But Cedric Alexander gets to the ropes. And you can see the wild eyes. Kendrick looking for sliced bread. The reverse into the lumbar check. And he compressed the spine of Brian Kendrick. And that means that Cedric Alexander is advancing to the quarterfinals. Brian Kendrick comes up short. He had his back caved in with that lumbar check. And thus, Cedric Alexander advances in the Super X Cup. Cedric Alexander advanced last week. Will it be Drew Gulak or will it be Sinkara advancing in this match as the bell sounds? And runs that in, but right into the Gulak. Right into that Gulak goes Sinkara and he has to tap immediately. Well, that has to be one of the quickest matches I've ever seen in No Limits Wrestling. The Gulak applied and Sin Cara has to tap immediately. Drew Gulak with a dominant performance as he advances in the Super X Cup. Well, we saw Cedric Alexander fight through the pain to win his match. We saw Drew Gulak last week in a dominant performance. How is this one going to go? Maybe it's going to be the same. The knee strike in Murphy's Law, but TJP on drags his way out of it. And TJP, the Philam Flash with the Hurricane Rana, and now goes right after Buddy Murphy. The best kept secret no more as he has the stage of NLW. He hits the Meteora, TJP on the outside now. As Murphy runs off the ropes, and here it comes, Tope! Flying through the air, over the top. And the way that he landed on TJP, TJP may think he's in Australia. And there's the running suplex. I've very much enjoyed this look at fresh talent over the past few weeks. It goes for Murphy's Law. But TJP could not get the win that time. And springboards off for the leg drop. Now Perkins... He's on the top. But caught out with that knee strike. And here comes Murphy's Law. And Buddy Murphy, victorious in his NLW debut. Buddy Murphy going to advance in the Super X Cup. He joins Cedric Alexander and Drew Gulak in the quarterfinals. Well, what a performance. And it was over just like that. He can catch you out of nowhere, and the Super X Cup may be fought under Murphy's Law. And these two Japanese competitors staring each other down, and they lock up. Kenta, former NLW Tag Team Champion in this company, off the ropes into a tilt a well backbreaker from Liger. Liger, perhaps the most well decorated in this X Cup. And a big time back fist from Kenta, who is looking to pull off the upset. And a drop kick. We already know that Buddy Murphy, Cedric Alexander and others have advanced in this tournament. Now who's joining them? 
Kinta went for the GTS, but it was turned into a brain buster by Liger. And a rolling kick, but a roundhouse from Kenta. And he wants to put it away now. He's up on his feet, goes for the running knees, but caught into the Liger bomb. And in quick fashion, Jushin from the Liger puts away Kenta and advances to the quarterfinals of the Super X Cup. Well, Kenta tried to put it away early, but it was the experience of Liger that prevailed in this matchup. Kenta defeated. Jushin from the Liger advances in the tournament. Welcome back to NLW, folks. The Super X Cup continues. Pack injured the hurricane and he's managed to weasel himself into this tournament against Kalisto who is actually giving Pack a run for his money at the moment is Kalisto pulling off the upset? no and Arana will Pack maybe be distracted by the Hardys after what happened last week go for the sleeping El Sol with a brain buster and hooks in the brutalizer and wins within a matter of seconds. Pack with a victory and he's demanding a microphone. Do you see? NLW Enter the Dragon only four weeks away. Earlier, if you become a member on Patreon, the link to that is in the description. But right now, we have a Super X Cup match between Tyler Bate and Mustafa Ali. And Bate nearly knocked the head off of Ali. But Ali kicked out, but now, the face buster from Ali. Another matchup in this already incredible tournament. As you see, right before your eyes, Ali with a snap Rana and collides with Bate. But look at the power of Tyler Bate. The airplane spin on Mustafa Ali and the rolling capoeira kick for good measure as well. Now looking for the Tyler driver. To put it away for the Rana. And Ali with a tornado DDT spiking Tyler Bate. And now he's in position. What is Ali thinking? Oh my! 054 connects and Ali advances here in the Super X Cup. Tyler Bate put in a hell of an effort. But it is Mustafa Ali hitting that picture perfect. 054 and Mustafa Ali is going to the quarterfinals. Well, tonight it is partner versus partner, Lucha House Party versus Lucha House Party. But they're still mates. They shake hands, the sportsmanship on display, but now that goes out of the window. Metalik with a roll up. And Lince kicks out. And an arm drag. Lindsay kips up. And another arm drag from Grand Metalik. And spring. But here comes Grand Metalik with the Hurricane Rana and kips up as well. Who is going on to the quarterfinals? Metalik wants it to be him with that tope con hello over the top. Wiping out Lindsay Dorado. And you'll recall a few weeks ago they had a match up against the Usos which was absolutely incredible. We saw what they could do in tag team action. Now we're getting to see how they fare one on one against each other. And Metalik. Oh, but Cott's caught. He got caught out with a spinning heel kick from Lince Dorado. And the Capoeira, look at that. The Cape Rana moonsault from Lince couldn't do it. And whipped into the ropes, but look at this parkour style from Grand Metalik as he hits the missile drop kick. Metalik now picks him up. Gonna go for the Metalik driver, perhaps no. Turned around into a DDT. And Lince Dorado going to the top rope. Lince Dorado going for the shoes, not press, but the knees were up. The knees were up from Metalik, and Metalik with a roll up and the victory. Grand Metalik with the roll up after a miscalculation from Lince Dorado and Grand Metalik is advancing in the Super X Cup. 
Dorado upset, but Metalik advances in the tournament. And folks, if you go to Patreon right now, you will be able to see the full show of Enter the Dragon immediately for just $3. And meanwhile, we've got a Super X Cup match going on. The final first round match in the Super X Cup. It is Matt Seidel and Tyson Kidd. In this showcase, and look at Seidel. Went for the Rana. But there was Tyson Kidd, and oh my goodness! Went for the suplex, turned into a Rana. And Seidel almost picked up the victory, and Tyson Kidd going for a chop. And a code red from Tyson, and a kick out from Matt Seidel. Seidel. Is he in trouble? Goes for a sprinkle, but a kick. That martial arts kick to Tyson Kidd. And he just got wiped out. Now on the top rope, shooting star press. And Matt Seidel advances in the Super X Cup. Well, that is it. Seidel with a huge risk going to the top, but it paid off with the shooting star press. And the question is, now that the quarterfinals have been filled, who is going to face who in the next round of the...